Uh, Minister, thank you very much for those great words. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians on the land which we meet on today and this week, uh, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. And I'd like to pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. And again, uh, acknowledge the tremendous uh, contribution that Aboriginal and Torres Strait people have made to the defence of, of, our, of our country through peace and war. Uh, I'm too really excited, Minister. Uh, this is fantastic. Uh, to be here at Pacific 19 and to have so many of you here to join us for the launch of the Navy Industry Engagement Strategy. If you don't have a copy of it, you soon will. Uh, I'm excited, you're excited, and I couldn't think of a better place to launch this very, very important strategy. Uh, without it, uh, we would just continue to do what we've always done. But those of you that know me have said, would know that I am uh, absolutely committed to doing things differently to the way we've done them in the past so that we can innovate and make a difference. This is a real key week for Navy and uh, I aim to push my staff as hard as I can to get out around the stands and meet with as many of you as I possibly can. Uh, in 72 hours we've got a lot, lot of ground to cover but we'll do our best. Uh, the strategy today, uh, absolutely delighted to, to, to launch it. It's an important document, but it's not just a document. It's a state of mind. When we got gathered last, many of you were at the Maritime Environmental Working Group only a few months ago in July this year, and I outlined my vision to the 500 people that were there that we as a Navy were going to engage more deeply with our friends and partners in industry. To me, it was obvious that we needed to make a commitment, and I used that opportunity at the MUG to bring a strategy to life. So on the bow of that enthusiasm, I challenged my team, led by Peter Quinn, to, to go to industry, to get feedback, and to take what you wanted in a strategy and incorporate it. We listened, and I'm delighted that we've got a fulfilling, coherent, collaborative document that we launched here this morning. Thank you for all of you who gave, you, gave us your thoughts. We've listened, and I'm delighted with the final product. When I came in as the Chief of Navy just over 12 months ago, I started with a very clear vision and a commitment to each and every one of our industry partners that we would work more closely with you and ultimately deliver better capability for our Navy, for our Defence Force and for our nation. As Minister Price has already stressed, industry is and always has been a fundal imp input to defence capability. And in my lane, that means Navy's capability. Industry is critical to our success, be that through building our ships, maintaining our ships, our combat systems, our aircraft, and ultimately leading to the development of innovation that we will incorporate into our future platforms. Those small businesses who are out there every day working hard to build individual components for our ships and aircraft, innovating, seeking to make things better and contribute to our supply chain. Thank you for your work. This work is fundamental to our defence industry and to our Navy capability. Without industry, we simply don't go to sea. We don't fly our aircraft and ultimately we're unable to fend Australia and the national interests of our great country. Industry is fundamental, fundamental input to capability and as the capability manager for Navy, I have a key role to play in the success of industry, your industry, through effective and consistent collaboration and engagement with you. It was really obvious to me that we needed to transform Navy's transactional relationship with industry to one of longer term mutually benefit partnership. My vision for Navy, industry and academia is to work closely together as one in a partnership of trust through all stages of the capability life cycle to provide the best possible outcomes for Australia and the Navy. It's about innovation and creativity 
and never accepting the status quo. So what does it look like? The core of the strategy is structured into four Ds. Direction, consistent and aligned direction. Dialogue, effective two-way dialogue between industry and our Navy. Delivery, a clear focus and commitment to delivering the best possible outcomes we can. And fourthly, making a difference, innovating to make a difference together. Let's start with direction. I want you to know that we're all going, where we're all going as a Navy and why. It's about working together to find the best ways for Navy to build awareness by consistently and coherently articulating our capability needs. We acknowledge that in the past, issues such as probity uh, have created barriers to effective and clear communication. At the centre of this strategy is sharing our capability needs early and as transparently as we can. We know that your companies need to be confident that early engagement will not disadvantage you or exclude you from future possible defence procurement opportunities. Second is dialogue. Dialogue is key. This strategy will transform the Maritime Environmental Working Group and the way that we communicate together. We want open dialogue, open communication. We want to implement focus groups to specifically address capability problem statements and together with more frequent formal and informal discussions, I want us to work together for solutions for the future. I want to see these conversations take place in your factories, in your workplaces, with your people. As the Chief of Navy, I'm excited to continue meeting with large and medium enterprises and more and more you will see me and my team out amongst the small businesses across our country. To the third point of the strategy, delivery. I need all of us to focus and maintain a focus on delivery. The timelines that we're on, on our major programs, are tight. The Australian people expect us to deliver on the current and future capability needs. This is what the Navy needs, and this is what I take very seriously in my role as the capability manager. Navy's role in the capability life cycle is as critical to the acquisition phase as is any other. We have a world-class, capable, lethal Navy, and I need cutting-edge technology in all aspects of the Australian shipbuilding industry. Finally, the strategy challenges Navy, industry and academia to innovate, to make a difference. It's about making a difference to protecting Australia and our national interests. It's about finding better ways to achieve outcomes through people, processes and technology. To be clear, as the Minister has stated, innovation is not just about new technologies, artificial intelligence or robotics. These are important to have in place, but this is about thinking differently, acting differently, communicating differently, behaving differently. Clearly, there is much to do during the implementation of this strategy, and we will work with you to do just that. This strategy will fundamentally improve the way Navy engages with our industry. My commitment to you is this. We are focused on working with you. We will make our needs clear to industry so that it is best positioned to develop, deliver and support Navy's capabilities. We will be receptive to your advice and we will not accept the status quo. We will move forward and I'm asking you to move forward with us. We are in this together. This is a partnership that will develop great outcomes for our Navy and the nation, and I look forward to working with all of you closely as we move forward. Thank you.